Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for this recording. As you know, I am Clyde with PT3D, and today I am going to show you what I'm printing. Um, this is a project that I've been working on for a little while now. This is a kind of a goofy little project. It's a, it's a windmill. Um, and I figured I would just take a few minutes to show you kind of what I'm doing. Now, I've had a couple of issues with the Chiron um, lately. Uh, one of those issues being that it is under extruding like crazy. Um, I think part of that problem is for a couple of different things. One, um, when I got the clog, it bound up the extruder part. That's the part that actually grabs the filament, pushes it and into the hot end. This is a Bowden style setup, so it's a lot of push on the, uh, the filament to get it to go where it needs to go. Um, I have taken apart the extruder to try and get it to kind of grab a little better. Um, thinking maybe there was some clogs and stuff in there. Um, by hand, the the Chiron's doing, I mean, it's doing just fine. So on the first layer, it comes out great. And then once I get to the second layer where it speeds up in the transition phases and stuff, it just goes crazy. Sorry, I'm looking for a place to put my foot. So, yeah, major under extrusion, the, uh, some slippage and stuff like that. So the um, extruder is just not able to go as fast as the machine wants to go. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to upgrade the extruder on the Chiron in order to do it. Um, like I said, pushing filament through this thing by hand, beautiful. Just goes right through which is what it's supposed to do. Um, I have actually adjusted the speed down 50%. The perimeters seem to be doing okay. Um, the infill is not the greatest. Um, there's gaps between the uh, infill. So, yeah. So we're going to have to address this um, shortly because I have several prints that I need to get done on this thing. So... I'm trying to, I was trying to troubleshoot it down to the level that uh, I could figure out what needs to be replaced. And I think at this point, it is definitely the extruder not being able to push well enough. Um, I don't think the motor's gone. I think the motor still works. It's still spinning. It's still pulling. I can feel it. It's just that it's, you know... It's just not grabbing the filament good enough. So this might be a good chance for, you know, upgrading to another nozzle I, or another extruder. I got to do the same thing on the CR-10S or at least beef up the springs. Um, there is a tensioner adjuster on the Chiron. Um, the CR-10S does not have that. So you're pretty much at the mercy of the spring. Um, you still are at the mercy of the spring on the Chiron as well, except that you can tune it a little bit and adjust it. So, um, the windmill project. Um, I can't really reach them here right now, but what I'm doing is I, I don't know, I'm just goofing around. So I wanted to do an original design that achieved a goal. Um, this particular windmill is going to drive a gear. Uh, that gear is going to drive one, two, three, or four other gears. And they're on a plate. And they're all going to be connected to stepper motors. So we'll probably start with one, then two, then three, then four. And we'll see what the windmill can actually push. And then on the output, I am going to be hooking up the a voltmeter. So we can see kind of what voltage we get when it spins. Um, this is just a like goofy little project. It's not, it doesn't, I'm not really expecting anything out of it. Mostly just to show that, hey, look, stepper motors do produce power. So, 
I'm not taking apart any of the stepper motors. I'm going to use the stock harnesses that they came with because I'm lazy and I really don't want to pull the stepper motors apart, pair up the wires on the coils and yeah, you know, so obviously we have to be considered uh, concerned with the amount of voltage we push out of those just in case because we don't want to flash the, uh, you know, the shielding on the wire. So, and maybe we'll run capacitors or resistors. I don't know. We're, it's just, like I said, this was just literally a, hey, I'm going to design something. Here it is. Um, I've also designed recently this little assembly doodad here. This is the PT3D TP01, and this is the PT3D TP02. These are for use on the Pinewood Derby tracks. So I'm going to approach that company and see if that's something that they're interested in. And maybe I'll have a little production run. Um, those were printed in PETG on the CR-10S. And with the exception of a little bit of boogering, the prints are coming out great. They're perfectly functional and they're very solid. So I am hitting my time. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. And I thank you for watching. And I will keep updating you on the windmill project, and we'll see if this thing actually prints. So, until then, you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time.